Hey my Scorpios, Yana Speaks here. And in this video, we are doing your January 2020 love reading. Now, to start off by letting you know that all of my readings are general, so they may or may not resonate with you because not every single Scorpio is going through the same exact thing, obviously. So if you find that this reading does not resonate, then it would be in your best interest to book a prior reading with me. All the information to do that will be in the description below. So... Let's get started, Scorpios. What is the overall energy for Scorpios this month? Spirit guides, what is the Scorpios overall energy? Gosh, why do I keep doing that? So, your overall energy is the Queen of Pentacles in the upright and death. So, this month, okay, so this is, I'm, I'm going to tell you what I see in the cards and I'm going to tell you what I'm feeling intuitively. So, I feel like this month, this is a month where you are more focused on yourself, okay? You are, I, this one picking up Scorpios, I feel like you guys, like maybe in 2019, you um may have felt like you needed a relationship to make you happy, or you may have felt like you needed someone to just make you feel complete like maybe you found your source of happiness through someone else and i feel like in 2020 you're more like you're you're starting to realize that your true happiness comes from within and i feel like in 2020 you're going to be very independent this month but i just feel like you're going to be very independent like period so like you're going to be more sure of yourself because you know what you have to offer. You know that you're stable. You know that you're really independent. You know that anybody that would get involved with you would be really, really lucky. And I feel like with death being here, it's like you're going through this transformation. It's, it's like a transformation of, you know, kind of like... Like, kind of like saying, like, RIP to the old you and the old way of doing things. So, this month, it's like, you're like, I'm not who I used to be. I'm, I'm different now, okay? I feel like you are romantically involved with someone, though. I'm going to let that be known because I do see the two of cups here. So, someone is currently in your life, and I do feel like you do feel very compatible with this person. You do feel like, you know, um, th this is a soulmate. But at the same time, you feel like you may not be getting all that you want from this person. So it's like maybe in 2019 or last month, you were maybe being needy and like feeling like you needed this person to make you happy. Whereas this month, it's like you're realizing, nah, nah, nah. I'm I'm happy on my own because of who I am and what I have to offer. Now, I also feel like because you're going through this transformation, it's like you're you're brainstorming, you're thinking about like new ideas, you know, um new ways of going about things, new ways of communicating your thoughts. So, I feel like you're going to like verbally communicate with this person, you know, your new thoughts, the, the the new ideas that you have, how you really feel. You're going to be very direct with your communication. You're going to let them know exactly how you feel. It's this energy of like, I'm not holding nothing back. Okay. And I feel like you're going to tell them like, I'm not who I used to be. Like I'm going through a spiritual journey. I'm having a spiritual awakening. I'm transforming. I'm different. I feel different. You know what I mean? And I, I feel like 
you want to hold on to yourself. So it could be like, maybe you feel like this person wants you to compromise in some type of way. Like maybe you may feel like this person wants you to give them your all, like give you, like give them everything. Kind of like this energy of like ride or die type of thing. And you're kind of like, I, I love you and I mess with you like that, but I'm not willing to lose myself for you. That's what I'm seeing here. So it could be like, I kind of feel like you may be in a situation where you may be more financially well off than this person. Okay. Um, there's like a lack of equal give and take between you and this person. Maybe you're always the one that's like dishing out money or like covering things for them. Because I feel like you're you're financially good. Like, you're stable. You're independent. You have your shit together. But there may be, like, there's, like, a lack of balance in, in this relationship with you and this person. Like, one is giving more than the other. You know what I'm saying? Um, That's what I'm saying. I feel like you you still want to hold on to yourself. Like you don't want to fully give yourself to this person. You don't want to lose yourself. Yeah, it's like this month you being more logical. You putting yourself first. You're like, I still love you. I still feel connected to you. I still feel like we're compatible. But I'm not willing to give you everything. And it's funny because I feel like the divine is stepping in and they're like making you come to this realization. Like even like, like honestly, what I'm seeing is like this transformation that you're going through. It's like, it's out of your hands. It, it, it like, it's going to happen regardless. Like it was supposed to happen. Um, so it didn't matter what you did. You are going to go through this transformation. All right. So let's see how this person feels about you. So how does this person feel about my Scorpios? So, I'm going to let it be known right now. I don't I don't like this person's energy. I, I just don't. I don't like it. I'm already picking up on F-boy vibes and F-girl vibes, just to let you know. So, their feelings towards you and their overall energy is a magician and the knight of wands. The knight of wands, I meant to say. So... <clears throat> I don't I don't like their energy because I feel like their energy to to I feel like this person is a user. That's why I feel like you are giving more of yourself to this person and you don't want to do that anymore. I feel like you really were going out your way to help this person out a lot because this person is looking at you like how you can help them, like how you can be resourceful to them how they can like manifest off of you so remember i talked about like i feel like you guys are very independent you're a go-getter you have a lot to offer this person sees that but instead of them seeing that and be like man like they got so much going on for themselves they got so much to offer like that's such an amazing quality and like that's the type of person i want to be with no they're looking at it like Man, they got this and that going on, so how can I profit off of them? How can they help me out? What can they do for me? I don't like their energy at all. Like, I'm really sensing fuck boy and fuck girl vibes. I try not to curse, but um, it came out, okay? 
um this person is very like i'm picking up very flaky vibes like they could be very flaky towards you you know at times you may feel like you can't rely on this person you know you may feel like sometimes they're there for you other times they're not i feel like this person may be someone who travels a lot maybe they have a job that requires them to travel or maybe it could be um maybe they like live at a distance from you but i also i don't know why well i know why This person is a fuck boy and a fuck girl. I don't, I don't like them. I don't like them for you. I don't. And I feel like this person deep down inside wants to take a break from this. And I feel, and I'm what I'm getting intuitively, and I like to go what I feel intuitively. I feel like they want to take a break from this because they're seeing that you're changing. You're not being as loving and as giving as you once were. And they don't like that. Because they were all about what they can get out of this situation. So this person, you know, they may come to you and say, you know, let's take a break. And I'm just going with what I'm feeling intuitively. Not so much. I mean, I'm going by what I'm seeing in your spirit, but I'm really going with what I'm feeling intuitively. I feel like they're going to say, let's take a break. To kind of see if that would make you want to like rebuild with them again. And what I mean by that is like this. This person figures if I take a break from the Scorpios, the Scorpio is going to miss me and they're going to want to like build with me again. This is all about them, okay? And I feel like um, this person may even come at you like after this break is over because that's all I feel like it is. They may come at you and be like, you know, I'm, I, you know I, I think we should try to build together. Like, I feel like we should like, you know, make something happen. Like, you know, maybe we should get into this. Maybe we should get into that. You know, it'll we'll make good money. That's what I'm picking up, okay? I'm picking up that from... For like a portion of you. Now, another portion of you, I feel like this person is going to tell you, let's take a break because they're trying to build with somebody else. And this person feels justified by doing this. You know what I mean? And really, they would honestly like to end this with you and, and close out this chapter. And... Be like, well, you know, I got what I needed out of this person. So since they want to change now and don't want to allow me to, you know, use them and do whatever, I, what, I don't really need them. It's a very, I don't, I just don't like the vibe. I don't like them. I don't like them for you, Scorpios. Um, I feel like they're trying to use you. Be careful, Scorpios. All right, so I'm going to end this reading here. I hope you guys found it helpful. If you did, please go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button, and I'll see you guys in the next reading. Bye.